What's up guys, just got a new hat. Do you like it? My sister got it for me when she went to the beach. Anyways, let's get on with the video. So, in my last video, at the end of it, I showed that my iPod had been locked and I, that's the only thing I can think of to refer to it. If you have a passcode lock on your iPhone or iPod uh, or iPad, somebody tries to get into it and I think it's five attempts. If they try to get into it, it will lock your iPod up for like a minute. Then if they try again, five minutes then or two minutes or something like that. But every time they try, it adds more time to it. But somehow, this iPod right here, which actually has a cracked screen, was uh, not messed with because I went to uh, California and New Jersey and I was gone for about a month and I came home to find that my iPod was like this. Try again in like 21 bajillion million minutes, so that wasn't good. And I just want a mini fridge. Yes! Anyways, uh, so I thought I'd do a quick little video because I seen when I did post that in the last video that a lot of people were like, haha, your iPod's locked up forever and I can't use it. No, it's an easy fix actually, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys if your iPod ever gets locked up like this, how you can fix it. So basically here's what you gotta do. Go ahead, have iTunes opened up on your computer and go ahead and have your iPod, iPhone or iPad plugged in and you're just going to have to put it into what's called DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, it's actually really simple. Okay, so what we're going to do is hold the home and power buttons in for about uh, 10 seconds and then you're going to release as soon as you see the black screen and then you're going to release the power button but continue to hold the home button. So it's pretty easy. So let's go ahead, hold the home and power buttons, keep holding them in. Count to 10 seconds, and then there you go. Release the power button and keep holding in the home button. Just give it a second. And there you go. As you see, the iPod looks like it's still turned off, but iTunes pops up and says it is detected in iPod in recovery mode. This is actually called restore, or not restore mode, but, uh, but uh, DFU mode. So that's what you need to see. You need a black screen on your device. And then basically all you have to do, now depending on what, whether you're on Mac or PC, you're going to have to hold the Option key on Mac or the Shift key on PC. You hold it in and you click Restore. Now what it's going to do uh, is uh, open up the desktop and you can select your firmware. Uh, if you don't want to do it this way and you just want to update to the newest firmware or whatever it is, uh, you can go ahead and just hit the restore button and it will go ahead and download the firmware for you. Uh, if you do want to download your own firmware and restore to that firmware, basically, as I said, you hold the option or shift key and then you save it to your desktop and select the firmware. But uh, what you can do is go to the website. I'll have it in the link below or in the description below and uh, you can download the firmware for your device, uh, whatever firmware you want there. So that's basically it. You go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and restore this. Uh, but I don't have the firmware downloaded right now. I just wanted to show you guys how simple that is and that fixes your iPod uh, being locked up or if you forget the password or anything. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you out. Make sure you hit subscribe so you'll get more videos like this that will help you with your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. And uh, I'm going to start doing this because everybody else does it. You can click right here to see my last video. Seriously. Like, click right now. Hey, bye. How did I end up right here with you?